and welcome to part four, not eight, four of my craft room tour for 2016. I'm Adele Toomey from Inky Quill and Let's Get Inky and today we are diving into my Alex drawer unit which is just over there and it's a beauty. I really love this drawer unit for a couple of reasons. It's great because the shelves are wide enough to store 12 by 12 paper and more and they're also shallow because a lot of the time if you stack up your embellishments or you stack up packets and packets and packets of things you forget what's down the bottom but the good thing about these is you can lay things out really really well they're great for ink storage as well I've seen a lot of people use them for that so let's see what I store in mine because it's changed a little bit from last time just a little bit just a little bit um, but yeah we're gonna drive right into it and then it's chocolate time after that. Reward myself with a chocolate. <laughs> Such a hard life being a rabbit, you know. At least she's keeping me company. <laughs> All right, we're finally up to the last bit of my craft room. Last week we looked at my Expedit, which if you haven't watched the video for that, check that out. I'll put the link below. But here we have my Alex drawers. And do you know what? These are probably one of my hidden favorite items that I've ever bought for my craft room. They're just really handy. So on the top, honestly this is usually piled with stuff, but I did a big clean out and now all of those piles of stuff are where they belong in the Expedit and around the craft room where they're meant to be. So up the top all I've got is my Panasonic electric typewriter. So I'll give you a closer look at that. It is a Panasonic, you can see the number of it there, and that's what I use for all of my typing. I just find it easier than um, a manual typewriter. I do have um, seven other manual typewriters because I use them for my wedding hire business, so that's my excuse anyway. Um, and I've used those to type, but they're a lot more difficult to get a nice, crisp image, and it's easier to make mistakes, whereas this you type it into the little screen and then you press print. So if you make mistakes, you can delete and go back and fix it up. So that's really handy. There's Denzel Washi Man, if you remember him. If you've been a long time inklet, you might remember him. Um, he no longer has washi tape on him because the bunnies found that too fun to play with. And he just hangs there now, just gives me the occasional high five while I'm doing typewriting. He's all good. So now let's get into the shelves and there's six drawers sorry not the shelves there's six drawers the top three are more shallow they're probably about oh I don't know close to three inches if that two and a half maybe and then these ones are probably four inches they're a bit bigger so the first one I have my scraptastic kit now usually I have this laid out and all really pretty but it only arrived in the post this morning so I haven't had time to do that yet but that's what I usually do. Um, I have got my latest Scraptastic kit in my iris container on my desk, which I showed in my first video of this series. Um, so when, probably after I film this video, I will lay this one out all pretty in here. Then these are my hip kits and likewise, I usually have these all pretty, but I was making stuff with this last night on the couch and I hadn't put it away properly. But what I'm going to do with my, I've downsized what I get from HipKit now just because the Aussie dollar is just shocking. Um, I bought my latest subscription. I had an extra $70 added to it because of the exchange rate, which I just can't do. I just can't handle anymore that big change. So um, I'm going to break some of this stuff up and put it into my stash and actually use it for an upcoming class. Ooh, sneaky hints. Um, if you want to know more about that class, let me know in the comments below and I might do some sneaky little hints about that. In this next one, I've called it Old Kits. So I have my old Scraptastic kit, which I didn't get a chance to kill. Oh, we have the Poppets. Hello. What are you doing, Pops? Hey, Bummy. She's just coming to see what's going on. Coming to see. Over here. Yep. What? What? Paper. You smell paper to destroy, don't you, Bunny? <laughs> if you've just tuned in and you don't know me, I'm, I'm quite known for my pet bunnies that are like cats and dogs. They just hang around the house. I have two of them. That's Poppet. You'll probably say Frida at some point as well. 
Um, but here I have my old kit, so that's my Scraptastic kit that I'm yet to kill. I will probably break this up and put this into my stash soon. Pop it, don't play with the cords. She's in a bit of an obstropolis mood because I'm not paying her enough attention. Um, I no longer subscribe to Citrus Twist, but I was getting their Project Life kit for a while, and so this is one of them that I want to use up. And then this is my um, Scarlet Lime Planner Society latest kit, which I haven't gotten into using yet, so I put that there as well. This next drawer is probably my favourite drawer. This is all my crepe paper goodies, and usually I have it looking really nice, but I was just making things with it the other day. So anything crepe paper, if you know me, you know my favourite brand of all time. Um, and so instead of ruffling through all of my stash, I just know that it's all here. I do have the embellishment packs over in that container that I showed you under my desk before, but all of the sticker sheets, um, the paper pads, the chipboard, and any thicker embellishments like this is all in this drawer. The next drawer is a work in progress. I have my page protectors for my new 9x12 albums just in here. I do need to put them, now that I've got my albums in the mail, I do need to put them in there. This is a DIY kit that I made last year that I still haven't used. So I will probably save this up for when I go on a crop next and I can just take that with me. In here I have a little subscriber project that I've been working on to send um, people that send me letters in my P.O. box and I'm so sorry I'm really behind with writing back so I haven't written back to people that have written to me in like August and September last year so I'm very sorry I'm doing a big catch up this term um, this term is February to March and start of April um, so expect a little goodie from me at some point and then this bottom drawer a lot of people have asked me about this this is my new stuff drawer and so I use this a lot for my grab five um, videos so if I if I'm feeling a bit bored a bit stuck I don't want to work from a kit I'll just come along here and grab something and I'll use it once and then it will go into my stash where it belongs so um, for example this little sticker sheet I think I got it in a kit and I didn't end up using it so I've just popped it in here. I'll use it for a grab five one day. And then if you don't know what a grab five is, check out Inky Quill, my YouTube channel, if you're watching this on my other channel. Um, it's where I pick five items from my stash to make a layout. And it just is a great way for using up your stash and getting stuff, old stuff used, as well as the new things. So this is where I put my new goodies, which is where probably a lot of this hip kit stuff will go eventually. So that's my Alex drawers, and I really do recommend them, especially if, especially if, that's a new word, Adele, especially if you're um, into making your own kits or working from a kit or a special, specific line. You could have different drawers for different companies. You could have different drawers for your stamps and for your mixed media. Um, they're just a really handy way, and they come in a skinnier but taller version as well, which... I might get one day, one day, one day. It's just a normal day in Inky Quill headquarters. <laughs> Can't do anything without a bunny snuggle. Isn't that right? And we have finished the craft room tour for 2016. I say that, I might change things around. I like to change furniture. Aaron and I usually change the furniture every couple of months because, like, not buy new stuff, just change rooms. We have, I think we've had, we've had three different bedrooms at this house and the lounge room has been changed, I think, about four or five times. So we do like to change things around a bit. So who knows, by the end of the year, this might be even different. We might be in a totally different room. Uh, but thanks for watching and I'll put all of the links down below for the other videos if you haven't seen them already. And I just want to say a huge thank you for all of your support. I've over 8,000 subscribers now on Inky Quill and I just and over 3,000, I think 3,500 on Let's Get Inky and I just it makes me so happy and I do, I read all of your comments and I do love to see them and um, I try to comment back as much as I can. And yeah, I just want to say a big mwah to all of you little inklets, my little inklets. Um, and the bunnies send big hugs too. We might go find them and see if they can say a little goodbye. Hang on, Aaron might be able to say goodbye. Let's say, here's Aaron. Bye. Bye.
He's doing editing things. With a very creepy wave. <laughs> Reminds me of salad fingers. Oh, salad fingers! <laughs> Alright, let's go find the bunnies. Poppet has decided to be very stubborn and fall asleep underneath the cupboard. And no, that's not a bunny tail there. <laughs> that's a cotton ball. So she's not going to say goodbye. Poppies, why not you say goodbye? It's bunny sleepy time here. Let's go find the other one. Sup, 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 sup. Shakes. I wonder if it's a sugar thing. Ooh. Can I chop it? Mm. Can I have a chocolate egg, please, Owen? Sure. Thank you. Easter is the best time of year. <laughs> I swear, there's something that different that they do to these. They just taste better than normal chocolate. <laughs> 